So about two weeks ago, I uploaded this video titled, Five of the Most Annoying People in CSGO. And it was actually a really good video, it got a lot of support. But after about two weeks after the video being up, I was looking at the video, and I was looking at some comments, and I realized that I missed a lot of people. The DJ, the fucking, the kid that tries the ninja defuse, like, it was a lot of kids. So this is gonna be my follow-up video to the five most annoying people in CSGO, and it's gonna be titled, Five More Annoying People in CSGO. So, um, before I get get started, I want to give some props to all the people that commented some ideas. I think I took about two of them, but I mean, three of them are just kind of people that I've seen in matchmaking. So, uh, yeah, let's start this shit. Alright, so number uno, we got the guy that is the DJ, okay? I call him the DJ, some people call him the raver, you can call him whatever the hell you want, but the fact of the matter is he plays music the entire game. Now, sometimes these people aren't that bad. If it's just a small trance song and it's actually pretty good, then I'm okay with it. It's not that big of a deal. If I don't like it, I can just mute him, okay? But it really starts pushing the lines when the guy's listening to fucking Screamo and he's singing along with this song. And I'm not joking around at all about that. There's literally a guy, and I think it was like three games ago, that like, game starts, all this pleasant little music, right? And it's like... That's supposed to be like a violin, but I'm just like... I don't know. But it's just a small little violin. It's like a church song, right? Um... Everything's pleasant, and then all of a sudden, quick little disclaimer, it's about to get really loud. You just hear this, and I'm just like, what the fuck on any level? Like, why would they mix those those, those two things together? And it wasn't that bad, okay? It was bad, okay? But it wasn't, like, bad, bad until the guy started singing along. So it would go, like, and then it would, like, break it into, like, this little girl, which is probably a little girl. She's probably, like, a, like a girl from Russia or something. Like, she, she was literally probably a more man than I am, and she's just like, yeah, we are fucking fuck everybody, and he starts yelling along with it, now, that was pretty bad as it is, but the funniest thing about this whole thing is the kid was like 10, so it's like, yeah, I'm a rebel, <laughs> so now that you guys have zero eardrums at all, they're completely blown out, the second person is the little kid, usually really young, that always tries to like ninja defuse, I actually think this is funny, uh, this is one of the the ones that I picked out of the comments, but just hearing that was like fucking classic because I used to play like COD 4, like when I was younger, and there has always been this kid. He's like, Watch the ninja defuse, guys, and he always fucking dies. So I guess he's not the most annoyed person, but it's pretty hilarious just seeing him like fuck up. So, so far, the video has been pretty light. We haven't gone into anybody that's too fucking annoying, but. This guy is pretty annoying. I don't know if he would have made my top five list, but if you guys didn't know, in CSGO, you can shoot people, believe it or not. And it actually makes the game feel more alive, and it actually makes the game, in my opinion, a lot better. The fact that you can shoot people. It makes it more uh, competitive, if you want to call it that. But um, this guy, if you accidentally shoot him, which, believe it or not, guys, I know this is going to be some mind blow as shit, right? But I've actually been studying this for a long time, and people do make mistakes. What? I know, it's crazy, right? So I'm one of those people that maybe I should look at the minimap a little bit more than I do, right? So if you don't look at the minimap that much, sometimes you'll accidentally shoot one of your teammates. I'm not talking about, like, like machine, like, mowing him down. I'm just talking about, oh, shit, you turn the corner, you shoot him once in the foot, he loses some health. Not a big deal. Well, to this guy, it is a big deal. If you shoot this guy once or flashbang him, he will literally hunt you down like fucking Jason in the woods and he will fucking cut your head off i don't know how he cuts your head off but he like hacks you down and he will do it for three rounds in a row doesn't matter where you are sometimes he gets kicked because he just shoots you at spawn but this guy will follow you and he will fucking kill you so that's the psychopath that's number three guys number four this guy's pretty annoying as well but it's that's a bad spot all in quotation marks guy he's the guy that it's one-on-one -on -one, right you just planted the bomb, you sit down, you're waiting, you're trying to listen for footsteps, and then he's just like, oh, by the way, that's a bad spot. And you're like, okay. You turn the corner, you look at one area. You look at Palace, or it doesn't matter where you look at. You look at fucking ice cream cone, okay? And he's like, oh, that's not a good place to look at. And she's just like, can you shut the fuck up? Okay? I'm sorry, but this is not a War Owl video, believe it or not. You're not commentating over this shit. You're not leafy as beefy right now, bro. You're in a CSGO game, and I'm trying to listen to footsteps. Can you please just zip it and shut the fuck up? Please. I'm asking nice, dude. And then, goes down to like eight seconds. You're like, oh shit, just gotta make sure he doesn't defuse right now. And he's just like, oh, you should probably check bomb, like right now. 
Check bomb. You turn the corner, he's right there. He shoots you in the head and he gets into, he gets into views. It's over. And fuck that guy. All right, so for number one, guys, this guy definitely should have made the list. I think this guy, is, this guy may have made, like, number two of my last list, but I just, I didn't think about him. But this guy is a super plan guy. That's what I like to call him. So in CSGO, it is a pretty competitive game, and it's a pretty strategic game. That's cool. You know, that's one of the, the main appeal to people. You know, there's all these cool fucking strategies that you can do. But if you just queue by yourself with a random five people, your plans aren't going to go that far, okay? Maybe if you're in Global Elite, you'll be able to, you know, hatch up some cool plan in the 10 seconds you have to buy. But if this is fucking Nova 3 and you get in a random queue with five random people, more or less, you just need to say, let's go B, let's go Palace, let's just rush B, let's go sit and spawn and jerk off. It doesn't matter what it is, but the plans aren't going to go that intense, right? But this guy thinks that this is StarCraft 2, and this is Major League in Korea, right? And he sits there and he tries to create this really fucking complex plan that never works at all. Like, he's like, okay, Jimmy, you're going to go to long, and you're going to make a lot of noise, and then you're going to charge in, shoot them twice, and then run out, save one flashbang, though, because you got to... You you gotta splash the middle of the door, right? And Jimmy's like, oh, okay. And then he goes to the Russian guy. He's like, uh, Markalov, okay, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a P90, you're gonna run to B, throw the P90 in the B tunnel, and then everyone's gonna be like, oh, look, a P90. They'll start running over, then you take the P90, kill them, and then you gotta go back to spawn and start forming a satanic ritual, okay? Jimmy, that's when you go back, jump into the circle into another dimension, and that's when you come back with Satan himself, and then we start killing everybody. Now, after this round, is over we're gonna be in a really fucked up environment and it gets to the point i know it's a little bit just a little bit of an over ex fucking a little too much out of proportion but i mean in a nutshell this guy like tries to hatch up these stupid fucking plans that just never work and they're way too complicated you know, obviously it's not like on that level, but a lot of times they'll say like, okay, we're going to split this thing and then we're going to back out. And then if you do anything wrong during the plan, he just fucking hatches onto it. And he's like, oh yeah, if we would have done this in the plan, we would have won. And it's just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Okay. This isn't, this isn't global elite, bro. This isn't the fucking, this isn't major league gaming bullshit, like tournament five. Chances are if we all go B and we have better aim than them, we're going to probably win the round. Okay. It's just simple as that. Sorry to break your eggs, bro, but it's not that complicated for Nova 2, okay? And he always, like, sits there and argues with you for fucking hours, and you just have to mute him. But for me, I think that's one of the most annoying people in CSGO. He probably would have made number two on my list in my last video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, I was looking at some of the other comments this morning, and I could probably make another five more annoying CSGO people. So if you guys really enjoy this and it gets a lot of support, then I'll definitely make another five most annoying people in CSGO. Um, I'm also going to be uploading a new kids that are toxic but uh hope you guys enjoyed the video today and let's shoot for one and a half likes i don't know if we can hit it it's gonna be a far stretch guys but uh thanks for watching guys and a uh, little bit of life advice be sure to drink a lot of water because i've been reading a lot of articles on this and you can actually get really sick if you don't drink water i know this is some news for you guys but just just between me and you be sure to drink water okay you need water all right peace guys Take it.